This is a short video to describe the setup that we've used in the couple of videos that we've demonstrated the signals of the pulse width modulation um, with the work that we've been doing on the Mega 328P Explain Mini. Now, because we don't have a data gateway interface GPI opens available to us on the, G on the embedded debugger on the Explain Mini, we have used a, those pins from the SAM D21 Explain Pro. So let's explain how we figured this all out. So if I open the help from the data visualizer, I'll get an overview here and see that it's a program for processing and visualization of data from various sources such as the, as, as the embedded data gateway interface. I can also have a look and see the gateway interface. I can see SPI, TWI, GPIO, and that is what I'm specifically interested in, is the, um, the GPIO. If I have a look at the schematic of the SAM D21 Explain Pro, and I'll search for um, data gateway interface, uh, GPIO, uh, I'll see that um, at a high level it gives the options on the embedded debugger and I can see that there are a number of GPIOs available to me. Specifically I can see that PA27 is connected to one of these D DGI GPIOs and if I search for that at pins 27 and 28 so if I search for that I can see here that that's connected to pin 9 and 10 of the external extension 3. And that's what I have here. I can see that this is extension 3 and counting from here, those are pins 9 and 10. So pin 9 I have connected to port B2 which is the output capture pin and pin uh, 10 I have connected to I have connected to port B5, which was our LED pin. So, short overview, um, and just to show you how your Atmel development tools are quite useful together.